Mine Shaver 1000 here. Today we're sitting in the old truck because we're going to be trying out these travel mugs by Sharper Image and see if they're any good and see if they do what they say they will do. So let's get into them. I already opened, opened them up and I'll tell you why here in a minute. So hang tight guys. Okay, uh, we bought these here a while back at, um, what's it called, the, uh, at the Goodwill store in Crystal River. Monkey got these. She got them, because there's two, there's, she got them one for her mom and one for her for like, if, when they, if they have to leave in the morning and go to a doctor or whatever, they can have, take their hot coffee with them. <laughs> Excuse me. So... That's why I'm out here in the truck. We're going to see if this stays hot like it should. Um, I got some boiling water over here and a teacup. We're going to fill two of them up. And we're going to check the temperature. We're going to plug one in. And we're going to leave one unplugged. And see if there's a difference in them. Um, I'll read this to you here in a minute. Because I want to get this plugged in. Uh, the reason why I had to open it was they're two identical cups. Now they feel nice. Okay, now these are sharper image. Like I said, she she said she didn't give no more than ten bucks for them. And online, eBay, twelve dollars forty five cents. Um, there's similar ones on Macari for fifteen dollars. Uh, sharper image on Amazon for the for these exact ones are 40 bucks or 39.99 right there on Amazon and these are brand new um, the Goodwill that's in Crystal River they have a section of all new stuff that's never been opened um, it's not just came out of somebody's closet or something I mean they're brand it's brand new products uh, there's another one on Macari for $21. Um, so, okay, now we're going to get these out. And I'm in the truck. Now, the thing about the, these guys is that when you, when you open that up, they feel nice. They do feel nice. They're 14 ounces. When you open it up, inside is your power cord. Like this truck. This is 2003 Toyota Tacoma. When you shut, there's a, a cigarette lighter and there's two power banks down here. I don't know why, but when you shut the key off, they all shut off, even the power banks. So if your car does that, keep that in mind that if, if you're gonna go somewhere, and it says you can put soup in these and stuff. If you're gonna go somewhere like that, uh, remember if you're, you know, if it does it shut off, you know when you shut the key off like uh, this one does now our Chevy Traverse 2011 it it uh, it does not or it does not shut off so what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these ready here's your plug just the standard 12 volt thing there and truck just cut out it's running I don't know if you can hear it vibrating I don't see a light but right here in the handle that's where you plug it in at you plug it in just like that okay now I got me a tea kettle here I don't know if you can see the steam coming out of it there oh I'm sure you saw that whoops and I just dripped that on my phone that's awesome and what I've got so I've got my I know it's not science, but, and I've got it on the open setting to where it just measures temperature, just like that. This is going to be in Fahrenheit. We'll see how, how hot it is. Um, it should be around, it's been a couple minutes since I took it off the stove, so it should be around 200 degrees. I brought it to a boil which is 212 degrees that's in Fahrenheit 
so we're looking at okay we're looking at 186 degrees let me see if I pull it out here real quick okay see how quick it's dropping um, let me tell you how much it is in um, in Celsius there's a switch inside of here that I can flip over to Celsius now let's check it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like I said plug one in I'm going to leave the truck run and I'm going to leave one unplugged and we're going to check the temperature see what the difference is it's 84 degrees Celsius okay which is 183 degrees so it's dropping pretty quick it's 183 degrees Fahrenheit so a monkey messaging me okay and now I'm going to go ahead this is the one we're going to plug in here Ooh. so what I did was I used this I used one cup and I filled filled up a cup dumped it in there filled up another one and dumped it in there okay so we're going to put this lid on okay it's got a it's got a lid on it that you can open up I should have showed you that before okay now we're going to plug this in okay there is a red light I'll show that to you here in a minute there's a red light on it and I'm going to put this down in here then we'll check the temperature on these things again okay now I'm gonna put one in here we're not gonna plug this one in okay just about perfect uh, like I was gonna say I wanted to use the same exact amount and the same cup that way people didn't say well you know different cups act, act differently and stuff like that right I understand that that's why I'm using the same cup for both and I'll show this to you here in a minute all right then we'll check the temperatures here I'll show you I know the trucks dirty guys it is a work truck okay see the light is on down here that red light right there We've got it plugged into there. If I plug, those do work, but they will shut off as well. Which I thought a 12, 12 volt power bank's not supposed to do that, but in this one it does. In some vehicles, they will shut off when you turn the key off. Okay? And then, so this is the one that's plugged in here. This is the one that's not plugged in. So let's get the lids off of here and we'll check the temperature. Okay. I gotta gotta do some work on this thing and I'm gonna start on it soon here hopefully before Christmas maybe after but here this winter I'm gonna try to get that spark plug that got cross threaded we think her dad did that it's an aluminum head so hopefully the plug won't break off uh, if anything hopefully I can at least get it to strip out and get that plug out of there I got to replace the uh, the valve cover gasket is is leaking on it it is starting to when I when I pull number two coil out it's got oil on the bottom of the coil I'll show you all that it's got oil on the bottom of the boot so that means it's leaking so we're going to replace that and um, like I said I'll just go ahead and use my use my tool that we used on the boat motor and what we'll do is uh, we'll just put one of them inserts in it okay so we're going to start with the one that's plugged in it's on it's on 87 degrees Fahrenheit that way we'll get an idea of if it keeps it warm I don't think it's supposed to heat stuff up I don't think you can put cold water in here and have it heat up um, so 
Okay, we're looking at 168 degrees. Let me pull it up here for you real quick because this cools off fast. 168 degrees. Now I'm going to put the lid on. Try to be as quick as I can here. I know it's not it's not scientific, but I mean, you know, why do you need to be so scientific about something like this when you can, you know, just you can taste it. But I like the idea. I'll read, like I said, I'll tell you on the box. It says you can put soup in here and it'll keep it warm. Um, but my guess is that like it's it's a travel mug, so like if you're on a long trip. Um, you can keep your coffee, hot chocolate, tea, whatever, hot in one, and you can have soup in the other. And, uh, you know, you're on a four-hour trip, you can stop, you, you can be drinking your hot hot coffee or whatnot, and when you stop, you can eat your, uh, you can eat your hot soup. So that's a great idea if it works. Now this one, 159 degrees, okay? So let's go ahead and put the lid on this um, it says here okay uh, travel mug two pack gift one or keep both stainless steel lined mugs auto utility jacks plug in the 12 volt DC uh, adapters for convenient power so like if you've got one of them what they call jackeries or something to that effect one of those things you take camping or something you can plug this into that but you know I myself drink cold stuff camping so if you know what I mean but you could use it for that uh, heated keep coffee cocoa or soup hot for hours on the road travel lids drink safely and avoid spills with the with the sipper style uh, tops which I showed you that it slides back and then you slide it over now I'm not going to turn it upside down guys because you know people do that and then when it leaks they go ah oh, it's spell proof well it if it's dripping it's not really spilling it's just dripping I think what that's for is if you knock it over and pick it up real quick if that would have been a cup of coffee it would have been spilled you know it would have been you know whatever uh, to where this if you knock it over and pick it up you might spill a drop or two I'm not going to turn it I'm not going to do that stupid stuff okay uh, large capacity carry up to 14 yes it is 14 fluid ounce with which is uh, 414 milliliters in each insulating insulated mug so it, like I said it is short for image it's really all that it says except on the on the box on the bottom here um, you get two mugs you get your two car adapters what you will need batteries not included well no I mean of course if they want to send me an 89 Suburban that will greatly be appreciated but if not I understand okay so let's get to the time um, this says tomorrow's tomorrow on the top upside down and so it's tomorrow's tomorrow but sharper image um, some things I've had from them that were fails but honestly guys all in all not a lot um, I have had a lot of sharper image stuff that does just well, you know, so um, Like I said, not all of it's great, but then again, you know, I mean Not everything's perfect. You know, my favorite tool is Snap-on. I know, I know a lot of guys will say Mac, Craftsman, whatever, but my favorite tool, which I do not own I might own a couple wrenches is snap on I can't afford them guys are they're, they're expensive well I can't afford Mac either um, but there are some things I don't care about on there with their with their products um, but I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you why uh, I like snap on over Mac in school my fire went out uh, my junior and senior year I took auto mechanics they call it auto tech now in my vocational school and all we used was snap-on we had a snap-on guy come in demonstrate their products the very next week we had a uh, a Mac guy come in demonstrate his products and he took two wrenches and he had 
it was uh, I think it was a uh, three eighths. He had these little plastic plugs. They were three eighths. All right, hex head plugs. And what he did was he took a he took a Mac six point. You gearheads will know what I'm talking about. Six point wrench, three eighths, put on one side, and a snap on. Um, reverse that. He did the 12 point on the Mac and a 6 point on the snap on. And then when you twist them, you see which one rounds off, which one strips. Well, of course, the Mac stripped. He says, okay, well, all right, let's, I'm going to go ahead and put a 6 point on here. And he put another plug in, 6 point to 6 point, Mac versus snap on, Mac stripped. And I said, hey, just for fun, I mean, he looked like an ass. He was so embarrassed, his face was red. He was getting annoyed because we was all making fun of him. And uh, I said, hey, just for fun, put a 12-point on there, uh, snap-on, up against the Mac 6-point. The snap-on 12-point held, and the Mac 6-point stripped it out. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if them plastic plugs were rigged and he was putting them on the wrong ends. I don't know. But I can tell you that uh, snap-on held it every time. He had more of a demonstration he was supposed to do, but he was so irritated he says, I'm going to call this this one short, and I'm just going to pack up and go. And, of course, we were all like, yeah, yeah, go hit the road, you know. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. So let's see what time it is here. Um, my daughter tagged me in post. Let's see. I don't know if you can see this or not. focus it's 312 all right it's 312 I'm gonna come back in 30 minutes and we'll check the temperature of these things and see if it will keep it hot I know it's not very long but I don't want to leave this truck sitting here and run for an hour um, so but it'll definitely even a good mug in 30 minutes is going to drop some temperature um, so, during editing, I'll have to put on the screen here what the one plugged in started at and the one that wasn't plugged in. I mean, I only had it plugged in a few seconds. <coughs> um, but the other one that wasn't plugged in had already dropped a temperature. So, if I remember to, I'll put it across the screen what they were and then we'll, uh, see what they are after 30 minutes so hang tight guys and I'll be back with you okay guys so it's been a little over 30 minutes 344 now so all right which one do you want to check first first thought I'm just feeling them right now All right, let's do the one without. The one that's plugged in is a little, does feel a little hotter. Let's do the one that's not plugged in. We'll turn our thing on here. Okay, 71 degrees in this truck. I see a little bit of steam. Okay, let's see what we're looking at here. It's climbing. So without it even plugged in, it's doing pretty good. So it hasn't been plugged in and it is 134. Okay. So now, now this is monkeys, I think I mentioned that, but I, I think she's going to do a review on them as well. <coughs> well. This is the one that's plugged in here. I don't know. Let's see, it's still plugged in. Let's, uh. Alright, now let's check the temperature on this one. It's up to 111, 114, 118. 
jumped up to 127, 131, 134, 136, 138. So a couple degrees. I mean, it's been 30 minutes. So it has dropped significantly, even being plugged in. Um, it's not going any higher than 138. All right, let's check. Try not to spill that. Let's check the one that's not plugged in again. Let's see what it is. 136. 134. Remember, I got the lids off, so you know that's going to escape some heat. But 132. So 132 to 138, that's not much of a difference to me in 30 minutes. Um, maybe over hours upon hours, but the one that was plugged in still dropped significantly. Yeah, this is staying right at 132. So it's it's a pretty good mug without even being plugged in. It's decent. Um, yeah, it's a great mug. But see, I, I stuck it in the one that's plugged in. It went up to 136, and it's holding there right now. So maybe over hours upon hours upon hours, but if you're going somewhere in 30 minutes, I'm even going to venture to say, well, now it's been, you know, it's been what, 36 minutes now? So, you know, if you're not like on a four hour trip, <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> I don't know guys um, I don't think it's that great I mean over 30 minutes the reason why I wanted to do that was to see how much the one that was plugged in dropped and it dropped significantly um, for being plugged in and over 30 minutes it's only four degrees difference so you know just keep going over hours I mean, in an hour, it would be, what, uh, eight degrees difference? No. I'm going to say no on it. I'm going to say no. I don't think, I don't think these plug-in mugs are, are going to work unless you leave them plugged in all day. I mean, a four degree difference in 30 minutes, so we're going to say what, well, you know, over 30 minutes. I don't know. Unless you've got it plugged in to your uh, your cigarette lighter all day to keep something warm till lunch. But I mean, you know, who's going to want a cup of coffee at noon, especially here in Florida, a hot cup of coffee at noon after it was brewed, you know, four to five hours earlier? Um... You know, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I know that's a long time to set, even staying warm. That's, you know what I mean? If, I know it's kind of a bad comparison, but, you know, if I open up a Coke, take a few drinks of Coke, and put it back in the fridge a few hours later, it, it's not going to be any good. I'm not sure about coffee that much, but I remember, you know, uh, my dad... We went to a restaurant one time and uh, he ordered a cup of coffee. He was like, when was this brewed? And she was like, well, it's been a few hours, but it's still hot. And he said, that doesn't matter. He said, it's nasty. I want fresh brewed coffee. So I'm going to take it from him because he, he was a diehard coffee drinker. He said, you can't do that. You know, he said, it just changes. You can't, you know, there's a big difference. So now soup, I don't know, maybe. I don't know. I, I really don't think... No. I just don't think it's worth it if you're planning on keeping something hot that long. Uh, you know. 
an hour would be what eight degrees approximately so I, you know technically you could put your soup in this cup you know fresh made soup in this cup in the morning and leave the lid on it and leave it in your vehicle you come back out four hours later I'm gonna say it it has just cooled down enough just to where it's still gonna be hot enough you know to be enjoyable but not too hot I mean you don't have to let it cool down you know what I mean I would say it'd be perfect I may do do that experiment and see over like four hours or something but I mean I would think you know geez I mean starting out at I can't even remember what we started out at you know uh, I know it wasn't boiling it did it did cool down some let let me check this out I'll write it down L let me go over the footage and I'll write down the numbers that way I can say them to you and then we'll do our outro okay guys I kind of crunched some numbers um, like I said it's not rocket science what it all boils down to pun intended is what the difference is okay so here's what I came up with <coughs> We started at 186 degrees. We poured them in the cups. Okay, we measured as soon as we poured them in the cups. The one that was plugged in was 168 degrees. The one that was unplugged started at 159 degrees. Okay. Then when we checked again, after um, 30 minutes, uh, the one that was plugged in was 138 degrees, which is an 18 degree drop. And the other one that was not plugged in was 132 degrees, which is a 25 degree drop. But the difference after 30 minutes is only 6 degrees. So what that boils down to is uh, the, the difference in the temperature. So the, the one that was plugged in, really, if you think about it, it didn't do that great. Because the one that wasn't plugged in was only 6 degrees. Six degrees cooler than the one that was plugged in at 138 degrees so and that was after 30 minutes so is it really worth plugging it in not after 30 minutes i mean like i said if you're going all day or you know for three four or five hours maybe there'll be a big difference but i i really don't i really don't think there is i think this needs to be revisited visited and i think that's what we'll do when i when i get four or five hours mess with this um we'll try it again and this time we'll just uh we'll leave one plugged in one not plugged in for four hours and we'll see you know see what happens then but over 30 minutes all in all you would think being plugged in, if that's supposed to heat up, you would think being plugged in that it would uh, it would have kept temperature a lot better than that. I mean, understandably, you know, the, the one that wasn't plugged in lost more temperature in 30 minutes. But at the end, you know, here we go. It was only 6 degrees difference at the end of that 30 minutes. So, I mean, think about that. That's... It's not that great. So we'll have to do a revisit. But right now I'm going to say, you know, no. At least this one is not. It's electric. But is, is it worth the, the plugging it in for, you know, let's say you got a half an hour drive. And you want your coffee hot. It's six degrees. Let's say you got a half an hour drive to work. And you got, got it plugged in. It's six degrees hotter than unplugged. I mean, really? Are, is your taste buds, is your tongue going to notice that difference? I don't think so. Your 30-minute drive to work, what is 6 degrees difference? I don't think it's, I don't, I wouldn't notice the difference. I wouldn't notice at all. So, no, I mean, I, I really don't, especially if you're looking at the one, it's the same one for 40 bucks on Amazon. No, I mean, just get you a couple cups, you know, like this that don't need to be plugged in i mean like i said we'll have to do you know we'll have to do a comparison over maybe four hours if you're talking a long trip but then again who wants to drink 
coffee that's four hours old because I know I don't want to drink tea that's four hours old. Um, I just, you know, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. So to me, it's not worth it, especially if you're talking about a half an hour drive to work. And it was a little more even actually. So by the time we got it checked and everything, you know, it was, it was well over half an hour. It was well over 30 minutes. It was 30 minutes when I turned you guys, but it was 32 minutes when I turned you guys back on. So, I, I mean, if you're thinking, you know, oh, I got a short commute to work, about a half an hour drive, that'll keep my coffee hotter. No, it won't. Technically, yeah, but only six degrees. Are you really going to notice six degrees? I don't think you would. If somebody handed, handed you both of them, and you don't know which one was plugged in, that could be an experiment. We'll see see what monkey, you know, get monkey involved and have her try it. And we'll know which one is plugged in and which one's not. See if she can tell which one's hotter. Uh, maybe we should do that. But right now I'm saying no, it's it's not worth to it's not worth to plug it in. It's just it's just to me it's not. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um stay tuned. We'll here soon we'll do uh we'll We'll do a revisit on this and get more in depth. But right now, if you're looking for, hey, you know, I got to drive at least a half an hour to work and my mug doesn't stay that that warm, I'll get me one of these electric ones. Well, go ahead, but don't even plug it in because six degrees ain't. I, I guarantee you're not going to tell a difference. You're not going to go, wow, maybe psychologically you're going to think, oh, that is hotter than yesterday when I didn't have it plugged in. No, it's not. It's, well, six degrees your taste buds aren't that sensitive on a six degree burn you know if you take a big sip and you burn your mouth and there's a six degree difference you're not going to be able to tell wow you know i burnt my mouth that was six degrees hotter than the other one no because you know over 130 degrees it's going to burn you you know it's going to burn it's it's plenty hot enough so anyway guys thanks for watching appreciate it shea bear the myth the man the legend hope this helped and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks again, guys. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000 channel. Uh, she'll be getting off work here soon. She's got an hour drive home, so maybe she should have took one of these cups. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.